Bonjour, it's Marianne Lecoeur of HowToBeChicAndElegant.com and today in this video I am going to talk about what is your best friend in your style, in your closet. If you are new to my channel, a big welcome to you and please kindly subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. Thank you. In this video we are going to talk about a very important topic and this is what is the one item that you need to have in your closet and use every single day or every single time you create an outfit and wear this outfit. Okay, what is it? If you have guessed, please write it down in the comments below. But I'm going to tell you now, it is a full length mirror. Okay, full length, right? Not the little mirror in the bathroom that you use or not this, you know, uh, ma mirror that you have in your hallway. A full length mirror. So first of all, why is a full length mirror a necessity? Okay, so many women do not have a full length mirror. Instead, they use the bathroom mirror, for instance, you know, to look at the outfit. A bathroom mirror. A bathroom mirror is mainly to do your hair, your makeup, wash your face, brush your teeth, you know. But it is not to look at your outfit. Because what can you see? You can just see your face and maybe the neckline, maybe a little bit of the bust and your arms. That's all. But it is not enough. So many of the women use the uh, big mirror they have in their hallway to check the outfit before they go. So this is a good thing to check you know, yourself before you step out, for instance, if you put a hat on or a scarf or your coat to have a look at your neckline. But this is not to check the whole outfit, it's just to double check, one last check before you leave. Because again, this hallway mirror is not a full length mirror. Okay, so no more bathroom mirror and no more hallway mirror to check out your whole outfit. So now, why do you need to use a full length mirror? Because in the full length mirror, you will be able to check the whole body from the top of your head to your toes. It is essential. So this is my full length mirror. And my full length mirror was an old door of an old cupboard. I repainted it white. And what I like about this is that it's very heavy, very sturdy, and it is wide. Because a lot of new full length mirrors are quite narrow. So you may not be able to see yourself fully and move about, move your arms. Um, you know, and maybe with a handbag, maybe a little bit too tight, but this one is nice and wide and I really like that about this one. So do you have a full length mirror? And please describe your full length mirror if you have one in the comments below. So many women have a full length mirror, but they do this. They stand right in front of it, or some even, even stand closer. But then they don't have the perspective than being more back, give them, okay? So what you need to do in a full length mirror is step back a couple of paces. And I always advise this. This way you see your whole outfit and not so much, you know, downwards, but you can see it, you know, uh, facing you. So now you are in front of your full length mirror and, you know, you are standing about two or three paces back. So it is good also to think about standing in the mirror where you have more room so you can step back, okay? So now you're standing in front of your full length mirror, have a good look at the whole ensemble, the whole outfit, the whole body, okay? And you kind of analyze your outfit, analyze how you look. So the first thing to do is, what do you see? First thing, the first thing that you see, the first thing that the eye would see. Okay? Is anything, do you notice anything that is a bit off? Maybe it's a color. Maybe it's one of the items that doesn't quite go with you. Have a look and, you know, listen to your gut instinct. Okay? So, for instance, this look. I chose this basic outfit on purpose for this exercise. Okay? So, I am myself, so I am looking in the mirror, what will I see? So, I have this top, it is quite loose, 
and this skirt is kind of A-line skirt. So I think, okay, maybe I need to tack this top inside the skirt. Okay, so I would do that. Try it. Maybe it looks better with the top tacked inside the skirt. Okay, you try different things. If one doesn't look good, try something else. Okay, so I've got that tucked in like this. Okay, so now how does it look? Okay, so again, you do it according to your body shape, your height, your size. Okay, does it look better tucked in? Now that it is tucked in, would it look better with the belt? Okay. Stand like this in front of the mirror, you know, look at the back, how does it look from all angles, okay? So now maybe the top needs um, a necklace, maybe a long necklace, a round necklace. Have a look, what do you think for you? It's always for you, okay? What suits me, what works for me, may not work for you. Always, always, always analyze the outfit for you, it is essential, okay? So try different pieces of jewelry, what looks good, what, you know, um, upgrade the outfit, what looks good for you. So any other things about this outfit. You can start from the head for instance, so you look at your hair and the neckline, is the neckline right for you? For instance, if you have a large butt, it's better to have a lower neckline. If you have a small bust like me, high necklines are better. Okay, now the, the sleeves. Do the sleeve look good on you? You know, is it short sleeve and needed maybe three quarter sleeves or long sleeves? Have a look. How does it look? Okay, you need to analyze your outfit. This is why the full length mirror are perfect for this. You can see the whole thing. Okay, so now you move on. What about the top? Is it good? Is it too tight? Too wide? Tuck it in. You know, wear it over the top. Try with the belt. What about the length of the skirt? Okay, is it good for this? Now the shoes. I'm wearing new shoes and you can see how it lengthens the legs visually. If I had worn, for instance, black shoes, because I'm wearing a black top, you would see, you know, that the eye would stop at the shoes, therefore it would shorten the legs. All is important. Okay? So let's say if you wear a pair of trousers, you know, have a look at the hemline. The hemline with the shoes. You know, are you wearing flat shoes? It would look better with the hemline of the trousers. Or maybe you need to wear high heels. What about the jacket? Where does the jacket stop? If you are pear shape, you know, is the jacket too short, too long? You know, does it show off your wide hips or not? You know, all this have to be um, asked. All these questions have to be asked. So all these questions matter. There are so many of the questions. You know, the colors you're wearing. What the color closer to your face, you know, does to your face. Does it make you look vibrant and healthy, as if you just come back from a holiday? Or does that color drain your face? Does it make you tired and in need of a holiday? Now the patterns, a print, you know, what does it print does to you, to your figure? Does it widen you instead of lengthening you? You know, there are so many questions to ask. And this is really a dialogue. A dialogue between you and your outfit. Okay? Never stop asking questions. Ask, ask, ask. How does this outfit you know, look on me? Does it make me look my best? Does it flatter me? What about the colours, the print, the, the, the cut of the skirt, the length of the trousers, the style of the trouser leg, the length of the jacket, the fabric of your coat, you know, the, um, the colour, the neckline. The shoes, everything, it's all worked together and you can't leave one item just to chance. You know, have a good look and always ask, how does the eye see me? So please let me know about your experience with your full length mirror if you have one. What is the dialogue you're having with the outfit, you know, with what you see in the mirror? About the proportion, about colors, about the prints, about, you know, the hemline or detailing or accessories. What is it? What do you do? And also, is it new to you what I talked to you in this video today? If this is new, are you going to purchase a full-length mirror? Or, you know, if you already have a full-length mirror, are you going to apply what I mentioned today in this video? Please let me know. I want to hear all from you. Please let me know in the comments. So, if you want more help on how to dress like a French woman, don't forget to visit my website, howtobechicandelegant.com. I have many e-courses for you and also I can work on a one-to-one -one basis on marianlecoeur.com. 
So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for liking and sharing the video. Thank you very much. I speak to you soon.